In this session we will discuss um, operators and expressions. Um, so, we have already used C expressions in our programs before and expressions in C are similar to expressions in mathematics and they follow uh, rules similar to what mathematical expressions also follow. They are a basic unit of evaluation and each expression has a value. Okay, we say that an expression returns a value of a particular type. So, let us consider a few example expressions. For example, I have the following uh, a is 3, b is 4 and I have, a, I have a variable c which is just declared to be of type int and then say that c equal to a times a plus b times b. So, the right hand side of the assignment operator, so um, this is the assignment operator and the right hand side is an expression and that expression has sub expressions a star a and b star b within parenthesis. So, an expression can be made up of variables, it can be made up of constants, these are the atoms or the basic components of an expression and sub expressions can be combined into bigger expressions using operators. Now, operators can be unary that is they take one argument operation. For example, uh, on uh, unary operators the examples can be uh, minus which is the unary minus. For example, minus 3 um, is a negative number. Similarly, not operator that we have seen in connection with logical operations. So, not of 0 for example. Um, so, the logical negation operator both of these operations take uh, one argument. Now, there is also the binary operations like uh, plus, minus, star etcetera. So, plus takes two arguments for example, an expression like 2 plus 3 and here is the binary minus. So, if I say 2 minus 3 this is actually a binary operator which takes two arguments which is which are 2 and 3. Similarly, the binary multiplication. So, 2 star 3 would be the product of 2 and 3. So, notice the difference between it is the same sign for the unary minus and the binary minus, but the unary minus takes only one argument and the binary minus takes two arguments. We have used uh, the assignment operation many times and let us understand it in somewhat more detail. For example, if we consider the expression b equal to b plus 1. Now, if you remove the semicolon at the end, uh, so the statement is b equal to b plus 1 semicolon and if you omit the semicolon, what you get is an assignment expression b equal to b plus 1 without the semicolon. So, how does the assignment operation work? For example, um, consider an expression like a equal to and then on the right hand side within parenthesis b equal to 10. What does this do? So, assume that a and b are integer variables. Now, assignment uh, assigns to the left hand variable, left hand operand the value of the expression on the right hand side. For example, in this assignment operation there are two assignment expressions. One is the expression b equal to 10 and the second is the expression a equal to b equal to 10. Okay. So, the first assignment of uh, expression is supposed to do the following assign 10 to b. So, what it does is it assigns the value of the right uh, expression which is 10 in this case to the left hand side operand that is one thing it does and also it returns the value uh, after the assignment. So, 10 has been assigned to b and the return value of this expression is 10. Okay. So, we can now analyze a equal to b equal to 10 as follows. First evaluate the expression in parenthesis the expression b equal to 10 has an assignment operator. So, um, 
evaluate the expression on the right hand side and then uh, assign it to B. Now, that operation returns, so that expression returns a particular value which is tem. Now, the original expression can be thought of as just A equal to tem, right. This is evaluated as usual, so you take tem and assign it to A and the return value of the whole expression becomes tem. So, when executing this expression, when evaluating this expression, two variables are assigned their values. One is B, uh, which is assigned the value 10 and the second is A, which is also assigned the value 10. The assignment operation can uh, be used to initialize a number of variables in one shot. For example, um, if I write a statement like A equal to B equal to C equal to D equal to E equal to 0, what does this mean? Now, here there is some ambiguity here, because we do not know which order to evaluate this. Uh, should we evaluate from left to right, should we evaluate from right to left, does it matter. Okay. So, should the assignment be treated as the following, uh, where uh, A equal to B is done first, then equal to C, then equal to D and so on. Or, should it be the opposite way, right to left, where E equal to 0 is first done, then D equal to that, then C equal to that, so on until A. Okay. So, the expression is evaluated from right to left in the case of the assignment operation. Assignment, For example, the above expression that we just saw will be done as um, A equal to, so E equal to 0 first and then backward until A is assigned. Now, this is also the standard mathematical convention, we are not introducing a new strange rule here. Why is this? Uh, first, we will evaluate the innermost expression, which is E equal to 0. Okay. So, E will be assigned 0, then the return value of this uh, sub expression. So, this sub expression will return the value 0. Okay. So, this becomes D equal to 0. Uh, D is assigned the value 0 and the return value of this sub expression becomes 0. So, then we have C equal to 0 and so on. Okay. So, finally, every um, variable here will be assigned the value 0. Okay. So, the reason for doing this is that uh, um, if you try to do it in the opposite way, you will see that um, uninitialized variables are initialized to other uninitialized variables. For example, um, if you go from left to right in the previous, this simply does not make any sense, because you have just declared A, B, C and so on. And uh, when you say A equal to B, A and B are not initialized yet. right? So, this um, assignment hardly makes any sense. Um, the basic rule of assignment is that a left hand side equal to right hand side. Okay. So, the left hand side is some value that can be assigned to. For example, this is a variable. Okay. Uh, the right hand side can be anything, uh, variable, uh, constant uh, or it can be an expression. Okay. So, all these are valid assignments. So, what is an invalid assignment? So, A equal to 0 can be a valid assignment, but 0 equal to A. So, um, the assignment operation is evaluated right to left. Okay. Now, we have the concept of associativity of operators. Um, so, what does associativity mean? Um, it is now, we have just argued that A equal to B equal to C equal to D equal to 0. Uh, an expression like that will be evaluated from right to left. right? So, it is as though we had parenthesized the expression as D equal to 0 innermost, then C equal to that, then B equal to that and so on. Okay. So, on the other hand, if you take an operator like binary plus the addition symbol, then the usual custom is that you parenthesize from 
left to right. So, the evaluation is done A plus B first, then that sum is added to C, then that is added to D. Okay. So, the assignment operation goes right to left, the uh, addition symbol op operates left to right. Okay. So, this concept of associativity of an operator tells us the order in which they evaluate the operations if there are multiple occurrences of the same operator. Okay. So, the first there are multiple occurrences of the equal to sign, in the second there are multiple occurrences of the addition symbol. So, associativity rules tells you that um, if there are identical operators in an expression, in which order do you evaluate them? Do you evaluate them from left to right? If you do, then it is called a left associative operator. If you evaluate from right to left, in the case of for example, the assignment, then it is called a right associative operator. A binary minus is also left associative. For example, A minus B minus C minus D is evaluated as A minus B, then C, then minus C, then minus D. Okay. So, for example, um, if you say 10 minus 5 minus 15, uh, what will be done is 10 minus 5 and then minus 15. Okay. So, this is 5 minus 15 which is minus 10. Okay. Whereas, if the parenthesization had been in the opposite way, uh, it would be 10 minus 5 minus 15, in which case it would be 10 minus this is minus 10 which is 20. Notice that uh, this is not how you are supposed to do it even in mathematics. So, the way that C does handles the associativity of the binary operation is correct. Okay. So, the correct parenthesization is 10 minus 5 and then minus 15. Uh, in general, for every operator C defines an associativity. So, let us see the part of the associativity uh, operations of operations in C. Um, there are several operations that we have seen so far, the parenthesis, the boolean uh, not, the logical not and the unary minus, the binary multiplication uh, division and so on, addition simple, comparison less than, less than or equal to and so on, equality, logical and, logical or and then the assignment operator. We have seen all these operations so far and of this the typical uh, associativity is left to right. There are a couple of exceptions, one we have already seen assignment operation is right to left. Okay. The unary operations are also right to left, most of the other operations are left to right. So, if you think for a little bit, you can see that uh, uh, the associativity for unary operations is also easily seen to be uh, right to left, that makes more sense. So, the idea is not that you should uh, memorize this table, but you should understand given the table, can I understand what will happen with an expression, how C will evaluate it. So, it is not that you should remember this, but rather if you are given the table and an expression, can you correctly calculate what the value of the expression will be.